Hello everyone, I am Kavin Krishna Prasad from Informatica GCS. Today, we are going to see about how to configure a Databricks scanner in CDGC. The agenda for the today's session is, what is a Databricks scanner, what are all the prerequisites needed to configure the Databricks scanner in CDGC, and steps to configure the Databricks scanner along with the live demonstration. Databricks is a cloud-based application and a combination of Databricks Delta Lake and Databricks Notebook. Data Lake is a storage layer that gives an optimized foundation for storing data in tables in a Databricks Lake house. Data Lake is the default storage format for all operations on Databricks. And all tables on Databricks are called as Delta tables. Below objects are extracted for Delta Lake storage as a part of metadata extraction. The objects are file, file system, database, schema, table, column, view, and view column. Whereas, Databricks Notebook is a web-based interface to a document with runnable code, narrative text, and visualization. This helps developers to create a complex dataset for training and machine learning models. Below objects are extracted from notebooks as a part of metadata extraction. The objects are folders, notebook definition, notebook instance, commands, calculations. Next, we'll see what are all the prerequisites needed to configure the Databricks scanner in CDGC. Before configuring the Databricks scanner in Metadata Command Center, make sure that organization has the Databricks Delta Connector License and Metadata Scanner Package. We can find that information under the License tab in the Administrator. Also, grant the permission that allows the user to perform the below mentioned actions. Now, let's see how to configure Databricks scanner in CDGC with live demonstration. Before we configure the scanner in Metadata Command Center, we need to create a connection in Administrator. I have already created a connection with all the required connection properties. Also, we can try the test connection by clicking on this test connection button. If the connection information are valid, then it will display a message as test connection is successful. So, now the connection is created, let's configure a scanner in MCC. Navigate to Metadata Command Center. New, Catalog Source, Databricks, Create. Enter the name of the catalog source. And then here we can able to see the list of connection which is created for the Databricks type. Let me select the connection which I showed you now. Here we'll get an option to run the test connection from Metadata Command Center. Once the test connection is successful, click on Next. Here, we will get an option to select the runtime environment. Let me select the runtime environment which is available to extract the metadata. Also, here, we will get an option to specify the workspace path where the notebook resides. Next, we can specify the directory containing custom Python user module. This path should be accessible from the secure agent. Now, click on Next. So in the filters tab, we can select the list of objects that needs to be included or excluded from the metadata extraction. Here I would like to extract all the metadata inside the schema called hawqe underscore test. Click on OK. Along with that, I would like to extract the notebook called Delta Lake underscore assert, which is inside the workspace that given in the previous tab. Click on OK. Also, if we expand this, we can see the supported filter formats. Now click on save to save the scanner configuration. Once it is saved, then click on run to extract the metadata from the source system. This will take some time to complete the metadata extraction job. I have already configured a database scanner with the same configuration and metadata also got extracted. So these are the configuration which is I have already configured and the metadata got extracted. 
So here we can able to see the list of objects got extracted as a part of metadata extraction. Let's navigate to the DGC UI and see the metadata. Here, search for the same catalog source name. Click on the results. It will list all the metadata extracted from the source system. Under the hierarchy tab, we can see the hierarchy of the database, file system and notebooks. So this is the schema which we configured in the filters tab, where all the table got extracted. Similarly, this is the this is the notebook which we have configured in the filter tab to be, to be extracted from the workspace directly. So this is how we can configure the Databricks scanner and extract metadata in CDGC. You can refer to the following article for more information. We would like to hear from you. You can give your feedbacks or concern through the link which is displayed on the screen. Thank you. Have a nice day.